how to prepare for the school year as a first-year teacher. Well, here are some things to consider. Creating and designing your classroom management plan. Plan your first couple of weeks. Select and plan get-to-know-you activities. Create paper flow and material systems. Create data collection systems. And last but certainly not least, shop school supply sales like mad. Welcome to episode 144 of the Teacher Rockstar podcast, a place where tips and strategies critical to the new teacher are discussed. We share the latest educational research and best practices so that the new teacher can be better equipped for a successful classroom experience. I'm your host, Steve Hiles. With the start of a new school year just around the corner, it's important for students, parents, and educators to be prepared and focused. In this episode, we're going to be exploring the six most critical things to focus on before the start of a new school year. But before we get into today's topic, I want to ask you a question. Are you a brand new teacher that just graduated college? Would you be interested in having somebody with you every step of the way to guide and mentor you as you transition into the classroom? Well, if so, stay to the end of this episode, and I'm going to provide you with a link to learn how you can. Also, I want to mention that you could find us on YouTube. Simply go to the search bar and type in at Teacher Rockstar. Check us out over there. Well, let's go ahead and dive right in. Setting goals, okay? The first critical aspect to consider is setting goals. Goal setting helps students establish a clear direction and purpose for the upcoming academic year. Encourage students to set both short-term and long-term goals that are specific, most of all measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound, commonly referred to as SMART goals. Here's an example of how a student can approach goal setting. Well, for instance, uh, a student says, I want to improve my math grades this year. My short-term goal is to raise my average grade from a B to an A in the first semester. To achieve this, I will dedicate at least 30 minutes every day to practice mathematic problems. Seek help from my teacher when needed and review my progress every two weeks to make adjustments if necessary. My long-term goal is to maintain an A average in mathematics throughout the entire school year. Now, By setting goals, students can stay motivated, track their progress, and have a sense of accomplishment throughout the year. Point number two, organizational skills. Very critical here. The second crucial factor is developing strong organizational skills. Now, being organized is key to staying on top of assignments, projects, and deadlines. Encourage your students to use planners calendars, or digital tools to keep track of their schedules and assignments. Here's some guidance on how students can improve their organization skills. They can establish a routine and create a study schedule that can contribute to, obviously, better time management and reduce stress levels. Encourage students to allocate specific time slots for studying, completing assignments, and engaging in extracurricular activities. By having a structured schedule, Students can better manage their time and ensure they are dedicating enough time to each task. Additionally, uh, you can have students uh, create a designated study area that is free from distractions. Now, this could be a quiet corner in their room, a library, or a dedicated study space at home. Keeping study materials organized and readily accessible, such as textbooks, notebooks, and stationery, can also contribute to a more productive study environment. Uh, Let's move on to uh, number three, building relationships. Now, this is very, very critical uh, to establishing um, a well-run, caring, and trusting classroom. Building positive relationships is extremely vital for a successful school year. I can't say that enough here. Students should aim to foster relationships with their teachers, classmates, and school staff. These connections can provide support, create a positive learning environment, and open doors to opportunities. Now, here are some tips for students to actively build upon those relationships. Encourage students to actively participate in class discussions and group activities. By engaging with their peers and contributing to classroom discussions, students can build rapport and establish connections with their classmates. You know, they can also seek opportunities to collaborate on projects or study groups, which not only strengthens relationships, but also enhances their learning experience. 
It's equally important for students to establish a positive relationship with their teachers. Encourage students to approach their teachers uh, with questions or seek clarification when needed. By showing interest and actively participating in class, students can build a rapport with their teachers, okay, who can then provide guidance, support, and recommendations when required. And I have to tell you, probably one of the better ways to do this is hold regular class meetings and have your students practice uh, and have a role in decision making uh, about what goes on in the class. Okay, I think you will find that be very, very helpful in the long run. Uh, the next thing I want to get into is academic preparation. Okay, the fourth critical aspect uh, to focus on is academic preparation. Now, this includes reviewing and refreshing knowledge from the previous year, especially in subjects that may require a solid foundation for future learning. Encourage students to take advantage of online resources, textbooks, or tutoring services to strengthen their understanding in areas where they may be struggling. One effective strategy for academic preparation is to create a subject-specific study plan. Students can identify the key concepts they need to review and allocate dedicated study time for each subject. By breaking down the material into manageable chunks, students can systematically work through the content and ensure that they are well prepared before the start of the new school year. Additionally, remind students to gather necessary school supplies and materials well in advance. This includes textbooks, notebooks, pens, and any other tools required for their classes. By having all the necessary materials ready, students can start the school year off on the right foot and avoid last-minute scrambling to find or purchase essential items. And this brings us to uh, point number five, mental and physical well-being. Taking care of mental and physical well-being is equally important before the start of a new school year. Encourage your students to establish healthy habits such as regular exercise, sufficient sleep, and a balanced diet. Uh, here are some guidance for students to prioritize their well-being. Regular physical exercise has numerous benefits for both the body and the mind. Encourage students to engage in activities they enjoy, whether it's playing a sport, going for a run, practicing yoga, or even taking regular walks. Physical activity boosts energy levels, improves focus and concentration, reduces stress, and promotes overall well-being. Adequate sleep is crucial for cognitive functioning and academic success. Encourage students to establish a consistent sleep schedule and prioritize getting the recommended amount of sleep for their age group. A well-rested mind is better equipped to handle the demands of school and students will find themselves more alert, focused, and prepared for learning. And this brings us to our final uh, main point here that I want to talk about. Uh, is setting realistic expectations, okay? Setting realistic expectations is critical for a successful school year. Students should understand that they are not expected to be perfect, okay? And that setbacks and challenges are a natural part of the learning process. Encourage them to embrace mistakes as opportunities for growth and to seek help when needed. Remind students to focus on their personal progress rather than comparing themselves uh, to others. Now, here are some additional guidance for setting realistic expectations. Encourage your students to reflect on their strengths and areas for improvement and to set goals that are challenging yet attainable. By setting realistic expectations, students can reduce unnecessary pressure and maintain a positive mindset throughout the school year. It's important for them to understand that everyone progresses at their own pace and that learning is a journey with ups and downs. Moreover, students should be aware of the resources available to them when they encounter difficulties. Remind them to seek help from teachers, tutors, or classmates when they need clarification or additional support. Encourage open communication and assure students that it is okay to ask for help. By setting goals, developing organizational skills, building relationships, preparing academically, prioritizing mental and physical well-being, and setting realistic expectations, students can lay a strong foundation for a successful year ahead. And that concludes our in-depth discussion on the six most critical things to focus on before the start of a new school year. Remember, by implementing these strategies, students can be well-prepared, confident and ready to tackle the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Uh, we hope you found this episode to be valuable and that it will help you and your students make the most out of the upcoming school year. Remember, preparation is key. 
Stay tuned for our next episode where we will dive into another important topic for new teachers. At the beginning of the show, I said if you'd be interested in having somebody with you every step of the way to guide and assist you as you transition from college into the classroom, and that I'd provide you with a link to learn more, well, here it is. Simply go to tra.teacherclassroomresources.com. That's tra.teacherclassroomresources.com. I want to thank you for listening to the Teacher Rockstar Podcast. I'm your host, Steve Hiles. Should you have a topic that you would like me to address on a show, shoot me an email. I personally read every single email that comes in, and I'd love to hear from you. When you get a moment, visit our website and subscribe to my newsletter for the latest educational research, best practices, and unadvertised free bonuses. Simply go to teacherclassroomresources.com. And don't forget to subscribe to us at the Teacher Rockstar Podcast. And if you'd like to support us, please feel free to share our podcast with others. Post about it on social media. And if you feel comfortable doing so, leave a rating and review. That would be greatly appreciated. Thanks again. We'll see you same time, same place next week. And remember, my friend, you got this.